this bill um, is about uh, better health for Canadians. It's about prevention. Um, it's about looking at the, the burdens on our healthcare system and what we can do to make Canadians healthier. The fact is we're all eating too much salt. It's not good for us. Some of us are at greater risk for uh, disease, for cardiovascular disease uh, because of other conditions or so. But it's a, it's a, I think it's a general across the board uh, public health issue. I'm still eating my chips in protest of Libby Davies in her attempt to take away sodium. Well, if I eat enough of these, I'll get my sodium from this or maybe from my cans of soup. Look, why am I showing you this again today? Because it is ridiculous that the NDP thinks that it's government's job to get involved in this. But I also want to show you hypocrisy. We showed you the hypocrisy of the dippers on how it's easier to break up Canada than it is to break up or change their constitution. Well, look at what Libby Davies is for and against. She's against salt, but she's for legalized heroin injection sites. She's in favor of legalizing assisted suicide. She's for uh, changing the legalization issues around prostitution, and she's all for legal abortion. She says we got to change salt because it's a health issue. I mean, nobody ever got any health problems from going to hookers or or shooting heroin into their arms, I suppose. But this is just the bizarre world that the NDP inhabits. Uh, we wanted someone from the Dippers to come on. They were unable to. But Jerry Agar from News Talk 1010 in Toronto is uh, ready to join us now. And uh, Jerry, are you ready to give up your chips to the NDP and, and maybe trade in some, some salty chips for a, a, a good syringe full of heroin or something? No, I was thinking of actually uh, coming over and visiting uh, your desk there, which is apparently a chip-safe ingestion zone. And so if you, could, if you could perhaps have it labeled as such, Libby Davis would be on your side. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's what we have to get down to, is declare myself a victim somehow and say that right. uh, I, I'm addicted to sodium and I'm addicted to prepared foods with too much sodium in them. And then they would be on side with this. I'm okay with a government agency, a government operative, an elected official wanting to make a cause out of healthy behavior and maybe talking about salt and telling people how you could uh, monitor your salt intake and what's a safe level and take a look at the labels on things like the packages that you have in front of you. Information is never a bad thing. The truth will set you free, so to speak. The problem I have is with politicians who, when they find out people aren't marching in lockstep to their ideas, they decide they'll use their boot heel instead of just uh, giving out information to people until we catch on. And, but it's almost, um, it, you say information, it's almost like we have too, inf too much information right now. We've got this food labeling here. We're harangued constantly in the media or by politicians. You know, I can pick up my smartphone here, which, you know, don't, people will say, well, the poor don't have smartphones. Don't tell me that because my bus that I take in every day goes through uh, a, a neighborhood that in Ottawa is considered poor and everybody's getting on the bus with a smartphone. So you've got apps on that that can tell you what, to, what healthy eating is. We've got umpteen websites and magazines. Everything around us is telling us how to eat healthy. We have too much information. People are free to make their own choices. Well, sure. I mean, over time, we have fewer and fewer people smoking, as I understand it. And it's because it's becoming not only that we have more information, but it's becoming less socially acceptable. And if you want to continue to encourage good behavior just simply by uh, putting out information, I'm all for it. And if Libby Davis wants to do that, that's fine. But when you put up that list that you put up where she's against salt, but for all those other destructive behaviors, then, you know, she's uh, I don't know what her um what's the core value of libby davis here uh government control seems to be her her core value as far as i can tell uh because the safe injection sites for heroin will be government controlled maybe if we have chip eating zones that are government controlled she'd be all for it look th the fact is we We've had people email me when I wrote my column about it. Anthony Fury has a column in the papers today about this saying, it's not government's role to force us to put a, a smoking is bad for you type label on a can of soup because it has more than the government's recommended amount of salt. And people keep writing in and say, well, this is about choices and I want my choices. Well, if it's about choices, you're taking away somebody else's choice to eat something with more salt. And there are things called health food stores. There are other options. It's not like we have one kind of chips one kind of salt, one kind of chicken nuggets, you know, and all the other prepared foods that do have a lot of sodium. We have options and 
the ma food manufacturers will give them to us. Well, sure. And, you know, if you want to make an assumption, and maybe Libby Davis does this, that one person might eat irresponsibly and eat high salt, high calorie, high fat food for every single meal and maybe four or five meals a day of it, and then decide you're going to pass a law that, uh, that dictates on the behavior of everyone else because of that, uh, it's a dim view of humanity. Somebody could have that high salt soup product that you have there, Brian, or those chips, and actually eat responsibly the rest of the week. The net result will be they'll be fine all right the hypocrisy of the ndp i'm going to keep eating my chips jerry for the rest of the show and uh hope you uh will uh, continue to eat and protest eat healthy eat whatever you want but uh keep doing it in protest we'll talk to you soon i'm gonna go have a stick of butter <laughs> all right email me your thoughts byline at sunmedia.ca